We'll get some work done on the wing today. I've got a, a measurement that I'm going to use here. I'm just going to check on that. But while I have this out, I also show you the other project we're working on. I'm going to wait a while before I get too into this one. Thorpe T18. It's all there. There's a fuselage. Wings are back in there. Tail, feathers, everything's there. I just got to put it all together. Dash and everything sitting there. That's all aluminum. So I'm going to get mine done first. And then I picked up this one from an old guy that was building it, and he's moved into an old folks' home. So I'm going to take over this one. That's a few years down the road. I got my helper back today. Uh, talking to Lyle at Flying Fisher. And on the web, uh, I got a response from... Oh, I forgot his name now on YouTube about the distances. I probably could have gone with three quarters of an inch like I had, um, but I'm going with an inch and three sixteenths. Uh, Lionel at Flying Fisher said, basically make that distance whatever works best for you. Um, so you can adjust it to whatever plane you're doing, however you did it. So you could go three quarters, and then I guess the, the, the bow, the tip of this, would just be a sharper curve to fit in there. Because uh, when we cut it, we're going to leave a little bit on each side uh, for the support that's needed there. So. Basically, I'm doing one three sixteenths all the way down. I'll glue that up. And then when that's done, we'll be to the point where we can cut the aileron and the flaps out. Again, with the aileron, you leave a little bit when you cut. You leave a little bit uh, hanging over. I think with the flaps, we cut the bottom one flush. And I'm just going to double check on the top one. But that's what we're going to do up today. I've got these blocks cut, and I'm going to get the glue ready, and we'll go from there. I've got the fault, scar fault spars completed for the one wing. And while I'm building that one wing, I'm completing the fault spars for the second wing. One little tip that I found. I've got all my wood set out there, and sometimes it just doesn't fit quite right into there. I glued a little bit of sandpaper right on there and then boom I can stick it in right away. Having that little sandpaper just glued on there just just to sharpen that a bit to thin it down is a nice little way to get these to fit just that much snugger and right where it's at rather than going all the way over to the bandsaw and then coming all the way back. Not the bandsaw but the, the belt sander. Just having that little there, just a little rub on there, get that to fit in there nice and snugly where it goes. All right.